G'day guys, so I've already made a video on C4 traps, it was called Explosive Traps and Unconventional Warfare. But I did get a comment in that video saying they didn't work anymore. The principle is simple, you just throw some C4 on some of your structures and wait for someone to take the bait and destroy it. In the previous video we were just blowing up people, but in this video I'm going to specifically target their tamers. And yep, it definitely still works. Anyway, this is over on one of the six man servers. I've transferred in with a stack of C4 and a pocket full of dodo kitty. And we'll see what carnage we can create. The plan is simple, I'm just going to tame a pteranodon. Find a juicy resource spawn and throw a structure right in the middle of it. Which is almost certain to be gone by the next day. I have a stash around here somewhere. I'm taming and crafting everything over here so the flak doesn't fall back on the other tribe mates. Anyway, I didn't really know anything of this server, so I didn't know where the tribes were located. The initial plan was to stick it up on Redwoods Mountain, but there was a big base built up on there. So I went to find a different spot, as the idea here was to target their resource collecting. Anyway, Obsidian Mountain seemed like a good enough spot. It's not going to be found and destroyed by some beach noob with his stone axe. So I'll just throw a, that structure up. I'll speed this up. Now I'll have to go back and get my C4. I don't fly around with that. I'd cry if I lost all that. Anyway, there's going to be no holding back in this video. I'm going to throw 50 down on nearly every trap. The C4 limit used to be 50. I think it's 150 now. 150 in a certain area. When placing the C4 inside your structure, make sure you cover every piece. So they can't break through one wall and see all the C4 on the other. This is most likely going to be overkill, but you never know when a Quetzal is going to take the bait. Now whatever you do, don't go poking or punching it. I'm going to leave this expendable Tranodon in here as well. For no good reason, only to make them think they're going to get a kill. Only to be killed themselves. If I can try to get out of here. Anyway, one day later, I'll transfer back in and check the tribe log. So yep, it's definitely gone off. A level 83 character on an Argentavis triggered it off. I 
I ran right back up there because I just blew me bloody trended on up, but the poor bastard had an ankylo. With that Argent played this, obviously getting metal. The bloody thing's on YouTube, but it is encumbered so it can't move. Some lucky bucks have got to flip his YouTube channel in the chat. So that's one trap down, so that proves it still works. But I have recorded six of them, so I'm going to stick them all in this video. Here I've gone over to Ragnarok, so I'm near Red Ob here. Same deal, I'm going to quickly tame a Pteranodon and go searching for a good place to lay another trap. Checking out the usual suspect locations on the spiral here. So we do have a large base built up here. So what I did was just build a one by one in wood in the trees just down from their base. They are currently online. But it is hidden enough that it shouldn't be spotted too quickly. So I'm going to try and grow some plants. That's just to force them into getting something more substantial to destroy it. So again, a full 50 stack. One on this piece and a big clump in the centre roof. Anyway, hope it'll last at least 12 hours to get those plants up. It's fairly hard to spot down there. Again logging in the next day. None of these traps lasted more than a day. They either went off within minutes where I looked at them or logging in the next day. So level 94, <laughs> blotter has been blotted and so is their way to wipe them on to the next trap anyway I'm going to stay in the same position this is one of the few traps where you can target the same person more than once so I'll just booby trap their oil pumps ok so this is obviously back to the archaeology event I'll hide the C4 a bit differently this time, so I'll put a thatch foundation down and then a thatch ceiling out. You can snap a foundation under that just like you can with boats. But by using a thatch ceiling as a floor, it'll hide the C4. So throwing C4 on here, it'll just disappear down into it. Because it's hidden, I'll just dump it all in one big heap. I don't really want to target people just interested in breaking the door down. I'd rather someone who wants to clear the area, which is that large tribe next to me. Again, my poor Pteranodon's going to cop it. I'm not coming back on the server, so he's not new. His service is not required anymore. So again, one day later. Ah, 
Unfortunately, it's hit some guy on his bloody Tranodon. Level 96 from Tried Momentum. In hindsight, I probably should have put it down in the swamp to target their Mitrons. Okay, so now we've left the six men and we're in the open official servers now. Tribe Vartas, these guys have been screwing with us. They go under a few different names. Valhalla is another one. Server 319. Now here I'm going to set up a bit of an ambush. I've made two wooden boats, the one with the protrusion out the front. We'll blow up their boat, protecting the blue ob. That shitty turret boat that we saw earlier. That'll be used to get their attention, and I'll leave that other boat which we loaded with C4 next to it. So I'm running two accounts, I've got two Xboxes. After I bought the new Xbox One X. So I'm using my alternate character to load the C4 onto the bomb boat. And then I'll use my main account to load the C4 onto the boat destroyer. That's so they don't all go off once I hit the detonator. It's only an exposed wooden raft, so it's only going to take two C4. But I'll use three for good measure. Anyway, there's a few of them online, so it's time to roll in. First, I'll just move the bomb boat into position. Stash the pteranodon nearby in case I need it. And I'll move in and blow that raft. You want to hold it just outside the raft. In this case it lagged me inside it. So I was just going to pull back a bit and try again. But, like all great plants, it falters on the first step. Oh, I've got the bloody thing stuck. But anyway, this doesn't really matter. This raft only had one purpose. And I can use the Trenodon to shift any ammo that I find. So I'll place the C4 next to the raft. And blow it. Anyway, instead of the boat, I'll just use the Trenodon to retreat to a safe place. And watch the drama unfold. So again, I've already produced a stash here. I've got to get into a position where I can clearly see that boat, because I don't want to miss this. Anyway, it wasn't too long before a wife and turned up. I 
He's only just in render distance over there. So he's first destroying the stuck boat. Now he has eyes on the bomb boat. This guy was really testing my patience. Must have only been a couple more bites and he would have been gone. Buddy seems to be really hard up for that two bits of fertiliser. It's around this time, I wish I kept that detonator on me, I would have blown him up and stolen his sneakers. <laughs> Leave everything else and just steal his sneakers to send a message. <laughs> he bit straight through the first bloody boat and he's just playing with this one. Here he goes. <laughs> just wasted that wyvern. Um, I think I need 20 C4 in this boat. Not 50 like the other ones I used. Anyway, I'm going to charge in with a suicide run. I've got a primy sword out of a beach box. Some ghillie pants I got out of a drop. And some cloth armour I took off some dude on the beach. You're pretty hard up when you're stealing your cloth armour. And another bloody wyvern's just turned up too. <laughs> and now they've seen me. <laughs> that guy was in trouble if his mate didn't turn up. The cons of wearing a wingsuit. You cut straight through them. Okay, the next server. This is 586. Now, to set the context, these scumbags are over on our server, wiping it with another couple of tribes. They've already meshed us a couple of times prior. But now they've completely flooded the server. If you can get into it, it's only about three seconds of play, followed by three minutes of lag. So the plan is to come over here, cause as much trouble as I can, to try and draw some people back. So that tight tower there has been built on a motorboat. So the plan is to use the same tactic as what I did before. Blow that boat to get their attention, and then blow up whatever comes to inspect. There's only three people on the server, and two of them are me and one of them. 
So again, running my alt account here, the first step is just to clear any mines, if there is any. Because C mines will take out a raft in one hit. They never used to work, but they do now. So I'm just sweeping for mines here. I don't want to lose 50 C4 to that. There wasn't any, but you always have to check. And the second step to move the bomb boat into place. I just had to clear some spikes to get through. So I have to be quick about this now if they are checking the log. I'll push the front end into that rock there. I want the first thing hit to be that one by one. And then use the bed on board to quick travel out. Over to the other boat, load him up with C4, ready for the kill. I use 25, a bit more than necessary, I've got to get to a ramp, a foundation, and a motorboat. Make sure the C4 is outside the boat, otherwise it won't detonate, and if it does it won't do any damage. <laughs> I was lucky to survive that, but I did keep a backup detonator. And delayed the C4 a bit too far back. It has to be as far forward as you can possibly get it. So I just blew the front off my boat, but it doesn't matter. Not with the boat gone there now anyway. Somehow I managed to get a Divermorphodon stuck in that boat. I don't know how that got there. But it can be sacrificed like the Tyranodons were. Anyway, now I've just got to get my alt account out of there. Their job is done. And now it's just a waiting game. There's still only my two accounts and this one other guy on the server. But hopefully that'll draw a few back. <laughs> anyway, I didn't have to wait too long. He's come out on a bright green Giga. <laughs> Have you ever seen one die that quick? I'm surprised he one-tapped that boat, actually. I was a little bit damaged from the crocodile from earlier, but still a bit fluid in one bite. Anyway, I'll go and pinch his saddle to let him know I'm still here. If I can get through the piranhas and leeches. It didn't actually show in the log that I killed the rider, but if I pause it there, you can actually see them dead there. On the left in the water. Also note that that raft actually survived with 50 C4 on it. Somehow pushing it into the rock protected it. I'll get rid of this turret tower too that I drained earlier. Just before I blew the boat. 
The idea is still to cause as much destruction as I can. In the hope of drawing some back. That's another one of them logging back in now. Anyway, this is the next day back on our server. By now the server's mostly lost. The two bigger tribes than us have been wiped. And now they're at our gate. So before long they're going to be pushing through this area. And they've been clearing everything with Arthropleuras. So what I'm going to do is set up an Arthropleura trap. Um, I've never done this before, just come to me at the spur of the moment. What I'm going to do is hide some C4 in a metal structure by using a pillar to protect it. So now when they come through with the Arthropleura and hit either the foundation, the wall or the ceiling, it should take them out. I'll place another one of these outside. Anyway, it was only about an hour before they'd pushed right up to the door and brought the Arthropleurus in. So they did trigger the traps and two of them were destroyed. They did have one more, so I ran the gauntlet of them and blew it up in C4. By hand. Here yeah, I thought it took the bloody guy off it, not the bloody Arthropleura itself, so I kept trying to blow it up. <laughs> That's all their shit there. They did save the remaining structures though, they didn't bother destroying any more. I've had a play around and come up with a few better ways of making that Arthro trap, but I'll keep those to myself for now. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Um, hope it wasn't too long. It was like nearly half an hour now, I think. But I'll make another video soon.